All right, guys, welcome back to Hellblade. Hopefully having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. And uh, we are continuing the story from what left off last time. We are going to these totems to play some sort of games or go through these trials with Senua right now. Because we saw her beloved in the whole visions and everything. I'm pretty sure, is this another one here we're going to go to? Um, but hopefully you enjoyed this series, and hopefully you're enjoying the daily content uh, as well. And uh, I appreciate all the new people that's watching this, uh, because there's quite a few of you, and you've been enjoying it. So, uh, is this another one? Yeah, this is it. It's these blue ones we got to, isn't it? But this will be going out on Tuesday. Today's a Saturday, so it's like... I'm pretty sure this is going out on Tuesday. Oh, it's doing the weird thing again. Don't put me in another dark cave. I saw Don't. once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. It weird echoes. What's going on? Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... What is this place? It's creepy. creepy. Oh. It feels, well. it feels strange. Okay, this is creepy. in a swamp. This is wrong. This has to be wrong. There he is. There Did he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. Find He's going in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air. Why has it gone? Keep going. How do you find it? It's just a trial. It's just another test. You just have to solve it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a test. <laughs> like the old warrior trial. I think we're about to see Shrek. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. With the water. She could taste the rot. No one else could. She knew something Up was through wrong. the arch. Is this another... She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up... No oh, God. Crying. More illusions. But she was not like that. That. You have to fix it. How are you going to fix it? You can't get to the house until the bridge is fixed. Now you have to find him. Quick, get to the house. Get to the house. I'm trying. It doesn't finish until you get to the house. Before he disappears, Senor. You have to get in. Maybe we've got to go through that archway. then run back here to climb up, right? Wait a minute. What changed? This way. Sometimes you just kind of have to like walk through multiple times just to kind of see what's changed. Okay, so that's just, just opened. Wait, so if I go. 
You did it. Shit. It's up the tower. Okay, yeah, I go up the tower now. How do you get to the tower? I think I've got to go. I've got to put this back here again. Yeah, there we go. Then go through this door. It's smart. It's clever. There's another game similar to this where you kind of use like photographs and then align the photographs up, and then it creates the world. Might look at doing that. See what that. Uh, see what that game's all about. So that this looks pretty cool. Um, wait a minute. Oh, wait, hold on. That's what I have to do. I tell you what, though, I couldn't imagine living with this problem she has with these voices like to think about that i don't know like i i i, I don't know much about it but i don't know if it can come at any point in life we can, you can come across with stress what else was it was um grief uh just a, a mental breakdown um all that kind of just dramatic like trauma so it can happen to anybody. And it's crazy to think that that sort of thing like exists. It's the same with um, uh, night terrors and all that kind of stuff, right? Like hallucinations, just people actually seeing other things and uh, all that kind of things. Cause like, I've got, I've got a friend who, um, I, I forgot what it's called. But it's like, uh, like, sh like anxiety gets like high, and stuff in the shadows kind of freak her out, and hears sounds and sees things and all that kind of stuff. It's like it's crazy to think that's like a real thing, and a lot of us are going to realize how lucky we actually are. Come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you are. Where is he? Find him. You have to find him. The runes. Focus. The runes. Focus. The Northmen speak of a death moon. A light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a... Delia. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to cut that off. It normally doesn't. They're coming for me. Wait, what is happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? What has happened? Is that thing chasing me? Find it again. Run, run, run. Look at you. Don't let it see you. It's coming. 
That was weird. I, I didn't do so bad there, to be honest. Senua! Senua! What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are, like I am. You're not a monster. Hmm. Without you, oh. this darkness has made another me trial complete. You're wrong. What if this has to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. You're being tested. You don't know. It's just the Northmen the tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around. Wait, a this one sounds tree. familiar. I think we read this. Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast. Yeah, we've, we've read that one. We read that on the way through. An army, not a warm welcome. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good. I was going to say, we recognize that name from God of War. Balder. He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. And psychotic. Crazy man. Yeah, Boulder was the the guy uh, who was after uh, you fight all the time. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, where are we now? If you think about it, right, the world of Hellblade in this is actually quite small, right? You have the beach you start out off, and then you have the room with the two doors, like with the illusion door and then the fire door. You come back out, you cross the bridge, and then you're at the bottom of that base, like where then. The, the totems are right and then you're kind of going into these little worlds it's not like the game is extremely massive it's very compact if you think about it it's like one central room kind of like how mario was right and you kind of go through the doors to visit like different little world kind of things but with the voices in your head like the this them just advancing the story is like really cool Oh god, what's with these faces? I'm about to find out. 
You want to Okay, so we've got to go switch between both of these worlds. It's kind of like the illusion gates, but with these masks instead. So you've got this world, which is kind of like the sane, and then you've got the grudgy other world. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death. Talked about Helen as well. See, I'm so god I'm so glad I played God of War now, because obviously this story makes a lot more sense. Because when you think of like if you don't know about the Nordic lore and stuff, like when you hear the words like Thor and Odin and Loki Everyone kind of just refers to Marvel, right? But then that's just all Marvel side of things. I feel like I should really drop this. I'm just wondering if... I want to go into this world. Oh, sugar. I know what I've done wrong. I need to run all the way around, drop that that bridge on the opposite side, because otherwise I couldn't climb up here. I go over that bridge, go back into the like underworld, we'll call it. We'll call this the overworld. And then go through this gate, and then it wouldn't surprise me if the symbol is on the opposite side of this gate. So we'll go down here, drop this bridge, Climb up, activate the face, then come back this way, go through the gate, because right now it's closed. I'll go back in here. I do like the other world better. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. Dillian. There he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him. Where is he? Where's he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's in the wrong world. He's in the wrong world. I know, but I'm trying to get the symbol to that that door so we can be in the right world, you spoon. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color. It looks like it covered the windows. Senna explored new paths into the unknown. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods mm. never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman 
and asks Bowser's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Bowser's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Bowser's mother is Helena, right? Hel 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 Thingy the witch. I always keep trying to focus on this door. I think I've done it with every door that we find a symbol to. Oh, um, back this way. Wait, is that right? Should I have done that? I thought it might have opened the gate. I should have... I don't know why I did not check if I could push that gate open while I was in the underworld. Because that's where he is, right? He's in the underworld. That's why we can see him. Yeah, there's a chain here now. What a spoon. Let me go back this way. Also, I'll be looking forward to covering the next game. Because the guys over at Ninja Theory and Xbox have reached out and uh, would like to work with me on, the, uh, on two episodes of the uh of the next game which will be coming out on the 21st so that'll be a little sponsor thing we'll be doing here on youtube we've been enjoying this series well, that's pretty cool okay yeah there's no thingy now there's no chain oh there's another one of these like there he is. Where are you taking Images we need to gather again. Up there. How do you get up there? There's a way. There's a way. There is a way up there. Find the way. She can do it. You're nearly there. She can find the way. She thought she had light within her She is pure darkness. These voices are getting weirder and weirder. Oh, come on. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Hoth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Hoth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Thing you had that loved you. You squashed it, strangled it, flattened it. The curse cannot be undone. Okay, so apparently the Z chip is around here. Oh, 
place right there. Oh, it's on the opposite side. I need to drop that. Is the one downstairs then? There is the up arrow. Oh, it's right here. So, we need to drop that and then switch to the underworld to then cross. Oh, wait, we can run around here. This was broken on the underworld. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers mm. burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, Baldur's wife cannot accept his death. I didn't know he had a wife. the L. I'll tell you what though, the first three episodes of this series, I had to take a break, like after the third one. It was like after about two hours worth of gameplay because like I was just sat here and I took like, I went for like a bio break and just get some food and stuff. And I was like, my head was going cra crazy. Like just, um, yeah, it was weird. It's a real experience. I had to take like a break, so I'll come back a couple of days later. But right now, I'm uh, I'm curious of what game to play next, because the second one doesn't come out until the twenty first. So if you've got any ideas that we can that can fill that gap, let me know in the comments. You know. True, it doesn't make sense. But it doesn't mean we are being tricked. This language you don't understand. Saint Bell was right. You wasted. So quicker. Could you imagine if she just wakes up after this and it's just all a dream? Could you imagine that? That'd be that'd be nuts. Uh oh. Delian! into the misty mountain. Oh. Be quick. Dillian never much cared for the underworld. And dimly upon the druids, I 
like our father, Zinbao. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. <laughs> Slowly. The darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. He's going to fall backwards. No! No! Jesus! I was expecting that big creature thing with a big head we saw earlier to kind of pop up. I wasn't expecting a random ass scream in my left ear. Sinoa. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> my own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? But you give up the beautiful world thing. You. Only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking you from the inside. You're disappearing. Is that the last trial? Father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Hmm. Where am I? I can't see. Who's there? Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can't you see me? No. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the time. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Oh, God. Tell me what you feel. The breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. The others. The voices. They've gone. I'm still here. So quiet. So dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. <sighs> Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you.
Let the senses guide you. I can't go on. Will you? Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. This is bizarre. The only way, the only reason I know which way to go, control is vibrating. The breeze has gone. So when I look somewhere where I'm not supposed to go, it doesn't vibrate. Hence the reason it's saying check your senses. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. Now we're to follow the water sounds, which is directional, right? Yeah. Left ear, center. Let's reach the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. Upstream. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of him. It won't let me go. Shema. My father. He taught me that the hardest battles are fought in the mind, not the soul. You're no coward. He proved that to me in the warrior tribe. This is just another battle. We can beat it. This isn't your battle. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior for me. We need people like you. Okay. I'll do my best. Inside. Don't be afraid. <gasps> Dillian. There's something in you. I'm freaking out. Do you see it? No. From it cannot see you. Quietly move past. One step.
not following me. Leave it behind. I don't know where I'm going. Okay. I was going the wrong way, I was kind of like fading. stressing out over here. Can I end this trial now? It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. You are in control. Yeah, this is the worst trial I've done. He's definitely freaking me out. A well. There's a well. Don't turn back. Oh, not a well. Guys, for those that know me, I'm truly terrified of the grudge. So, wells and little girls freak the freak out of me.
She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself, in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, Someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. Oh my god, dude. Jesus. We've done it. We did it. The warrior trials. Go get the sword. I'm glad. With I'm just out of that place. You will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. Now, we're just gonna go and defeat Hella. In Helheim. 